in the Flying Rhino Junior High Games! <laughs> Our humble event is in celebration of the original games which were first held in Olympia, Greece in 776 BC. Now, these items I'm passing out are priceless curios. Every one of them a piece of... <clears throat> As you look them over, imagine yourselves one of the original Olympic athletes training full-time for ten months in preparation for the games. Ten months of training? Well, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Practice makes tired, you mean. I expect you've all trained in preparation for today's event. For yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. I'm so good, I don't need preparation. Remember, overconfidence can rob even the greatest athlete of victory. So best to be prepared. Yes, Billy, I still think you could have trained a little. Everyone else did. I'm up to 12 minutes of non-stop hula hooping. Now I can pogo forward, backwards, and sideways. I worked some cool new moves into my freestyle yo-yo routine. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Let history be your inspiration. In ancient Greece, winning athletes often became heroes for life. Ridiculous. Comparing these children to the Olympic athletes of yore. Of my what? Not of your, of your! It means long ago, of your, your! Of my what? So let's make this year's games one we'll never forget! <laughs> unforgettable! <laughs> oh, they'll be unforgettable, all right! <laughs> Legend has it, the first Olympic Games took place in the fields of Olympia, where Hercules challenged his four brothers to a race. Every four years after that, an Olympiad was celebrated in honor of the original Olympian gods. Zeus, king of the gods. Poseidon, god of the sea. Achilles. <laughs> but Achilles wasn't a Greek god, Mrs. Snodgrass. Oh, uh, yeah, oh uh, let me commend you on your knowledge of Greek mythology, Lydia. Indeed, Achilles was a mortal who was presumed invincible. But he had a secret weakness. Can anyone tell us what it was? Uh, uh corn dogs? Mm, I'm sorry, Rod, that's incorrect. Achilles' mother tried to make him invincible by dipping him in the river Styx, but forgot to let the water touch his heel where she was holding him. So his heel was the only vulnerable spot on his body. Quite right, Lydia. <laughs> well, that's all for today. Now off you go to finish your preparations for the games. Are you coming out to practice? Nah, I'll just come out to watch. Training for weeks has paid off. I feel really fit. Don't tell me you're competing in the 100-yard dash. You don't stand a chance against me. You haven't been training. You might not even be ready. I was born ready. That means I don't have to train to perform well. What insufferable arrogance. Oh, how I despise natural athletes. I'm sure you do, Phantom, especially after spending all those school years being humiliated by them. What are you, psychic? No, it's what someone wrote here in your yearbook. When it came to sports, I was... How shall I put this? The poster boy for uncoordinated geek? Silence! I always focused my attention on mental sports. My failure to excel in athletics was strictly due to an inner ear problem. Inner ear problem? Yes. I kept hearing voices. Hey, Earl. Hey, Earl. Maybe, Maybe you should, should stick, stick to mental sports. Stick to mental sports. Mental sports. I have something that'll make you mental, Phantom. Checkers. Checkers? Only an individual of diminished capacity would be interested in checkers. Exactly, Phantom. I love the game. Chess, on the other hand, is a game of intelligence and skill. Oh, look, a horsey. <laughs> <gasps> no offense, but shouldn't you be concentrating on the other events? After all, I am track champion of Flying Rhino Junior High. 
What unbearable one-upmanship! Maybe you should stick to mental sports. Stick to mental sports. Stick to mental sports. Stick to mental sports? I'll show you what a master of mental sports can do! view of ancient Olympia! Olympia? The birthplace of the Olympic Games! <laughs> what did Earl get us into this time? Presenting the home team, the Olympian Gods! And their team captain, Zeus! <laughs> he, he just flexed every muscle in his body! Right down to his tonsils. Big deal. I can touch my nose with my tongue. That's your ear? Look, it's Apollo the chariot rider. Artemis, goddess of the hunt. Athena, goddess of wisdom. Anyone else get the feeling we practiced for the wrong events? Fools! No amount of practice could prepare you for... Seven! One, two, three, four, five... We're playing chess! Not an infantile board game! Right? Can I be banker? This Olympic flame is a symbol of the spirit of competition and grand achievement. And not once has it been extinguished in over a thousand years! <laughs> Oh, man! That was my last soda pop. <gasps> Win or lose, I'm not cleaning that up. In the name of all competitors, I promise that we will respect and abide by all the rules which govern these games in the true spirit of sportsmanship for the glory of sport and the honor of our teams. But that said, I've always felt a little side wagering makes these things more interesting. Uh, all I have is this double-A battery. If your side wins more events, <laughs> which is highly unlikely since we are far uh, superior, <laughs> you will be treated like gods for a day. Totally oh, awesome! And right. But if we win, then I will claim this school and make you all my servants for eternity! <laughs> He's pretty smug for a god. <laughs> we are in big trouble! Have your best step forward! <laughs> First event, the javelin toss. Javelin toss? I, uh, haven't practiced that in ages. I thought you didn't need to practice, Mr. Natural Athlete. <laughs> you can do it, Billy. Just throw it like you would a baseball. Way to go, Billy! Right oh, that's my man! <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to rub it in, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Panther? Silence! I'm gloating! Can't I enjoy a moment of sadistic pleasure? Sorry, but I forget which direction this guy with the ridiculous hat moves. You mean the bishop. He moves diagonally. <laughs> My bishop just jumped their castle thingy. Crown me. <laughs> Keep it up and I'll crown you, all right? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I blew it. I should have been better prepared. Uh, uh, hey, uh, it looks like uh, Billy hurt himself. He should have practiced. Ahem. I, uh, guess I'll go next. Uh, what's the competition, anyway? Archery! How did I 
do. <clears throat> Next event, the chariot race. Um, someone neglected to mention a horse. So, are we going on one, two, three, or on go? Go! <laughs> Whatever. Next up, the hammer toss. Time limit. Four events and we're down four nothing. How demoralizing. This isn't a competition. Those gods have thrown us to the lions. Hey, come on. Don't give up. Losers aren't people who fail. Losers are people who quit. It's not too late to turn things around. Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. challenge the gods to games we did train for. They'll never go for it. Why not? They did swear an oath of good sportsmanship. Liddy is right. If the gods have one weakness, it's their huge egos. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have the body of a Greek god. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Gods? We were good sports and competed in all your events, so I figure now you should compete in ours. Of course, if you're too chicken. Are you taunting gods? She's taunting gods. Of course, we'll compete in your simple mortal events. Great. Grab your pogo stick then. for all the marbles. If you win, I'll grant you one wish. Oh, really? But if you lose, you will all take Atlas's place and assume his duties <laughs> for all eternity. I'm sure this Atlas guy's job can't be that hard. Atlas was the leader of the Titan army. He was condemned by Zeus to carry the heavens on his shoulders until the end of the world. Talk about your tight calves. <laughs> For the final event, one of you must run an obstacle course. Billy! I can't do it. I think I pulled my hamstring during the javelin event. I guess it wouldn't have happened if I had trained. Then if Billy can't run, all is lost. They are obviously disillusioned. Their spirits are completely crushed, and they've lost all hope. <laughs> oh, gosh, I miss Junior High! <laughs> it looks like you're up against Hermes, God of Messengers. Uh, are you sure you wouldn't rather run this race, Lydia? Your legs are longer, and your... Marcus, you may not be naturally as athletic as Billy, but you did train for this event. I hope you're right. Don't worry, Marcus. We've worked up a plan. Hey, guys, since you picked the event, what say you let us choose our opponent? <laughs> <laughs> sure, whatever. Then we choose... Achilles! Achilles is not a god. 
No, but he is a hero and a favorite of the gods. Of course, if you don't think one of your own favorites could beat a lowly mortal at these games, then Achilles, I guess... Achilles! I, Zeus, command you to race for the honor of the gods! Yes, Zeus, your most honorable honorableness, sir. Watch my corn dog, would you? Uh, sure. Huh? <gasps> Did I ever tell you about my adventures on the island of Skyros in the Aegean Sea? What's going on? Remember Achilles' weakness? So you haven't heard the story. Uh, I've never met you before in my life. His mother dipped him in the river Styx. Yeah, but she forgot to let the water touch his heel, leaving it vulnerable. That gives me a great idea. Oh, uh, not about any of this. All right, let's go. Well, I got sent to Skyros after getting in trouble for playing some practical jokes on the local centaurs around the Mount Pelion area. Centaurs are notorious for their poor senses of humor. Anyway... <clears throat> ah! Ready to face the unbridled speed of a Greek legend? Ready as I'll ever be. Uh, I think the drawstring on my pants broke. C can we have a 30 second... Uh, how's the heel holding out, Achilles? Mm-hmm. Looking good. That heel feel okay? What are they up to? They're trying to psych him out! Check! What? Huh? These will help you take the weight off that weak heel of yours. Oh! Don't listen to them! Concentrate on the race! The race! No! No! <laughs> Achilles! You might need this to finish the race. It's working! He can barely run! Oh! Here they come! The gods were overconfident. How could they be so cocky? Check me. What did you say? Come on, Marcus, you can do it! <laughs> You insinuate that I am a sore loser. I didn't say you were a sore loser, Phantom. I just suggested that maybe you were a little overconfident. I said, don't move. M maybe you should take the blindfold off, Phantom. Keep talking so I know where you are. <laughs> oh! uh, I kept your corn dog warm for you. Thanks. How? I believe you owe us one oh. wish. Fine. What is your wish? Godly powers. Throw us. Very well. Find the one called Earl. Earl. Go any faster? Uh, sure, but I had trouble with the directions. Good work! You should all be beaming with pride. The Flying Rhino Junior High games have been a great success! <laughs> yeah, 
Thanks to Marcus. Uh, thanks, Billy, but uh, I think the gods really beat themselves by being so overconfident. No way. They lost because you beat them. You trained hard. You deserve the victory. Yeah, it just goes to show there's no substitute for hard work and preparation. I guess it's just one more for the files of the Flying Rhino. <laughs> They've done their worst and the Enviro Master is still standing! <laughs> <laughs>